In the Boundary Conditions tab, you can select the boundary condition to apply for each solver region boundary. By default, the metal boundary condition is selected for all boundaries. The other boundary conditions available are PML, periodic, symmetric, antisymmetric, and PMC. Metal boundaries are perfect metal boundary conditions, and they will totally reflect the light with no absorption. PML are absorbing boundaries. They simulate an infinite space within a finite computational grid. Periodic boundaries are for periodic structures. They allow us to model one single period of the structure. Symmetric and antisymmetric boundaries can be used when the structure and the field share the same symmetry. They allow us to reduce the simulation size by a factor of 2 or 4. Refer to the knowledge base to see how to choose between symmetric and antisymmetric boundary conditions. Finally, PMC are perfect magnetic boundaries. Similar to metal boundaries, they reflect 100% of the light with no absorption. If there is no radiative loss, you should always start your simulations using metal boundary conditions. They're faster and more computationally efficient than PML. This is most easily understood in the following manner. If the fields are zero at the boundary, which should be the case for bound modes, then the choice of boundary doesn't matter. In addition to being faster, metal boundaries allow you to avoid other numerical challenges that come with using PML boundaries namely artificial modes that are introduced by the presence of the PML. You can use symmetry and antisymmetry to reduce the memory usage. Using symmetry boundary conditions means the solver will only find the modes with a specified symmetry, and other modes will not be found. If you use antisymmetry here in the x direction, the solver will find only the TE modes. On the other hand, it will only find the TM modes if we set the boundary condition to symmetric. Making the correct choice of symmetry versus antisymmetry can be confusing, so we recommend starting without using symmetry. Once you can find the mode of interest without symmetry, try enabling symmetry. If you select the correct option, you should find exactly the same mode, although some of the other modes may disappear from the list if they have different symmetries.